passed again. Slow this down. There we go. Oh, we got that turn this time. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Forza Motorsports 7. We are in a drift league lobby, but apparently there's four minutes left for this. We do have our sequential shifter all set up to go in this game. Let's make sure our controls are set to shift up, shift down. Handbrake is B, so we are good on layout. So we are here today to do some drifting and check the sequential in Forza Motorsports 7 but uh it looks like we have to use this car so we're gonna buy it and uh transaction must be complete for the next race okay that's fine we'll go into 15 car tier car is bought now we can upgrade the car it looks like but luckily they allow us to do this stuff in the game Do you want to automatically, sure, automatically set that up. Calculating upgrades, what are we going up to? 229 um, on street tires. We're probably going to drop that down to stock tires, but we are going to install all that. And uh, probably go back down to stock tires due to the fact that we don't have a lot of power. Um, To throw some weird wheels on here. And, uh, I don't know what the max restriction is, so we're gonna see what other power additives we can maybe do. Not sure what the restrictions are, so we may leave that how that is. What suspension do we got on here? We do have race suspension on here, so we are gonna mess with our suspension a little bit. We gotta make sure we have a diff. Try and do all this before the race starts. Because, you know, it's all going to be bought before the race starts. Let's throw that diff in there. Looks like we can go up to an A. Car class any. Okay. So we got two minutes. We're doing a quick, like, basically shotgun upgrading tuning session right now. It's already installed. Add some more power. 300. We may be going back to street tires. We're going to throw it on to pretty much as much power as we can. We, we're doing a shotgun run here in this Volvo. I didn't know this was a thing. So this is a quick, like, let's hurry up, build a car. Um, and I think we're going to be sitting around 397 maybe. 404, that seems like a decent, a decent, uh, set. We got my phone going off right now. So I think we are going to go back to some sport tires. Probably going to up the rim size to some 16s. There we go. And now, since we got everything bought, how much time we got left? Shotgun builds! We got a minute left, so we're going to go tuning aspect. We're going to get some tuning in on this. Luckily, we can do this stuff now where we can tune in the middle of a game, which is definitely a very nice change for Forza Motorsport 7. Um, not sure where we're going to want him going gearing, but seems okay. We're going to be throwing pretty much a basic style tune on here and hope for the best. Uh, hopefully, this car will be able to get sideways up for us. I've never done this quick, like, you know, buy, build, set up, and get car ready before run. Definitely uh, gives us a bit of a test factor in the fact that uh, if this works and we do good in this league event, um, well, then uh, we had a decent car. Race ends in 27 seconds. The time is ticking down. So I think we're going to apply that. 
We're gonna go back. And it looks like we're gonna be at Homestead. Uh, 603, it looks like we're set up in. 242 turbos, everybody's rocking a 242 turbo. I forgot to get a party set up so that I don't uh, have other people's chats going on. All right, so we're gonna get the game. We're gonna get the uh, the wheel cam set up. Although we still got a minute to go, so we still got some time. I feel like we're gonna maybe add a little more power to this car because we have the time. We got a minute left. Throw a turbo in there. 449 sounds good. Lighten up that flywheel some. Car's not a very heavy car. We got brake wise, we got race brakes. There are race suspension. Um We're gonna go no sway bars because I have a very interesting thing about sway bars. So we are uh, quick, quick little build, and a very fast. Uh, ooh, some rally lights going on in there. Adjustable Forza wing, no wing. What does that do? Oh, that's a roof scoop. All right, so intermission counter is down to fifteen. So we are just gonna go for it now so we're gonna get the wheel cam turned on we got our NRG innovations hydro handbrake our sequential shifter down here 350 millimeter NRG innovations wheel logitech g920 base and uh yeah we're gonna go full send here at homestead hopefully uh we can get a good run because this was a quick uh league drift event uh build a car tune it build it in two minutes and uh throw it to the track so we're gonna be testing the car and the sequential shifter here in the game. So if you guys are excited for Forza Horizon 4, I am as well. Uh, definitely super excited. I do have the Ultimate Edition, you know, already pre-ordered and paid for, waiting at for me at GameStop. But I did it at GameStop so I can get the special shirt. I do get all the, uh, you know, all the normal pre-order stuff as well. But I wanted to get the... Uh, shirt so here we go quick build on this car and uh well sequential mod is working good but uh ooh, did not drift as well as i wanted it to okay so this is not a ghost event go I mean for a, a quick quick tune um we're getting it I keep thinking the shifter is not where it is so for a quick tune we're uh not doing too bad ah uh, you Son of a... And of course it's the lead guy that just decides to hit me. And there goes all our points. Ugh! Drift lobbies. So... But for a quick... Throw a tune and everything on this car. I do like that sequential being able to just slam it in a second. Not have to worry about missing gears. We're not doing too bad. We are 6,000 points ahead or behind first, but. Oh, we overshot that. I can't believe we kept points all the way till there. I forgot that that turn cut down so short, so. But for a quick build, and tune, I'm uh, quite happy with how this car is sliding, you know, for not being a normal car that I drive. So hopefully we can uh, 
Maybe do better in the second round. But, uh... Not doing too bad so far. Wish I wouldn't have gotten tangled up in the beginning. Stay on track. There we go. Definitely liking my, uh... Extended handbrake. As well as the sequential shifter. Because we just got ourselves into third. Into a podium spot. Hopefully we can keep that podium spot. We are 8,000 points ahead of that. So hopefully we can keep our... I think it should be a third gear turn. Quickly throw it in the second with that... The sequential mod. Still using clutch though because I still have clutch engaged. Obviously for clutch kicks and stuff. I haven't tested if you can just run it no clutch shifting. But it is nice because I don't have to worry about if I, uh, I'm going to miss my gear or not. Because it's really just one way. It's either up or down. So I feel like a quick reference. Don't have to worry about it. And we are comfortably... In, uh, in third. So, uh, doing pretty good right now. Let's see if we can not overshoot this turn. Probably should have stayed in fourth, but, uh, this little, uh, this little Vovo is definitely getting it. So this was kind of a, uh, A uh, very interesting turn of events to come online. I wanted to do Drift League, but I did not know that the Drift League would uh, send us to building a car. So it definitely uh, had a little bit of a fun factor to this. There we go. Let's see if we can link this. Don't overshoot that. Ship down this second. There we go. And this Volvo is definitely getting it. I'm going to keep this car for sure as one of those random uh, drift builds. A clutch kick. So for a quick tune, hopping in here. If we wouldn't have gotten involved in those little bits of uh, incidences in the beginning, we probably could be better on up there but we are in a podium spot for right now so and I am in love with the sequential mod right now the sequential gearbox is uh, making this drifting that much more intense right now because if you watch a lot of the FD guys they have sequential gearboxes like this they don't have to use clutch to shift. We over rotate that when I threw that too much. But a quick tap of the clutch like that and we're good. So we're gonna throw this in really early. Stay in fourth. Kick it in, kick it down a third. There we go. Off clutch. So this Bobo is definitely handling a lot better than I thought it would. So we are comfortably in third. So let's uh send it in first person. Let's see if we can get some Bobo first person slides. Ah, I overshot it. Launch of second. Kick it in the third. Quick kick in the third. There we go. I do like the quick reference of shifting with this, this shifter. It is definitely making quick gear changes and everything that much easier. Almost Getting in this guy's door for tandems. Door in the fourth. Hold that. Don't lose that. Ooh. 
So, uh, first impressions of this car is definitely, uh, extremely fun car to drive. Is it perfect? By no means. But, for a quick, uh, two minute drift build, it's, uh, it'll do the job for, uh, what we're here to do today. On the wall entry. Oh, <laughs> too soon. As we tap the barriers. So, we are gonna finish this run up because we did, we did podium this run, so. But one thing I wanna make sure is make sure the e-brake stays locked on B. Oh yeah, there's no uh, hesitation or flutter on that e-brake. So we will take third. So not a bad, uh, not a bad run for the first time with this. So sequential gearbox working so well. Definitely so glad I built it. Uh, if you guys didn't check out how it was built, check out the video. I'll leave the link down in the description box below for the sequential gearbox. Um, we got our long NRG Innovations handbrake, and uh, we're just ripping this Volvo in the leagues. We did get a podium spot, so that's definitely good. We're gonna probably hit one more up before we end this episode off and uh, we get a free car well not a free car we'll probably end up buying that car looks like a Porsche and we're gonna oh negative one on our grassroots I'm trying to get out of grassroots here in the league and we are going Maple Valley reversed in the rain uh, rain skids so uh, we did pretty good last time we were in rain, so we're gonna see if we can't, you know, do pretty decent in rain this time. So, one thing we can't do is we can't, like, paint the car. That would have been sweet if we could have just painted the car. So once we load in after this intermission, I will uh, come back and see how we do. Maple Valley Roost in the rain, it was supposed to be, but, uh, doesn't look like we have any rain yet, so. Alright, here we go. We're gonna try and stay up there in the points to start in the beginning. I thought the guy was gonna hit me, don't hit me. There we go. Now we're getting in there, getting the points. We can't lose these points. I don't wanna lose these points, don't lose these points. Woo. And then I knew that turn was gonna get me. That turn gets me every time. And I believe the rain is about to hit us. But we are in first. So hopefully we can stay this way because we all know how my online sessions usually go. Try not to hit that man. Definitely want to bank those points. And uh... There is a guy that is pretty far ahead of us in points. I'm just gonna take past him uh, so I can get a better run. So we are in second though. So hopefully we can get a good entry through this section. A little jump drifts. Through this final turn. See if we can stay in angle. Because somehow we took first. Maybe we don't lose these big points. There we go. So somehow we are holding first. Um, let's see if we can hold that together as this race goes on.
I'm worried this guy's gonna hit me though. Thought it was supposed to rain. I mean, I'm not complaining that it's not raining right now. Goes down the third. And see, we just got passed again. Slow this down. There we go. Oh, we got that turn this time. That's a huge point turn right there. We are fighting for this first place spot. Throwing everything I got at this Volvo right now here in Maple Valley. And uh, hoping we can maybe come out with a dub in our second, uh, second league run in this Volvo on a quick build with our new sequential gearbox. See that? Oh, it's such a close match between him and I. Ooh. Oh, that was perfect. We're gonna be greedy. Try to get back on track and be greedy with these points. Do not lose those. We need to bank those 16,000. So we got three minutes left, three and a half minutes, and we're uh, we're kind of banging this uh, banging this Volvo on this track right now. We can't get points to that section, but we are still holding first. Can't see who this man is behind me. Oh no! What happened? No! Get wrecked! Did it just... Did it just boot me? Oh, ho, ho, it just booted me. Seriously? We were doing so good. Oh, internet fail. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that makes me sad. That makes me sad. We dropped internet. Oh, get wrecked. So you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of it are found in the description box below. If you guys want to see more of this, uh, if you want to see more of that Volvo, you know what to do. Comment down on this video as well as any other videos on the channel. Do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I do appreciate all the support. We have hit over 800 subscribers. Looking to try to get that to the 1,000 mark. So uh, keep subscribing. I do appreciate all the support from all you guys. So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.